Hi, today I'm going to show you how to take an image that, of, that looks like this and turn it into the final image of something that looks like this. This image was the final version of the one you just saw and was submitted to the Guilford County Fair and won a first place ribbon. So I started with the image like this and what we do is we're going to make a selection. Now I'm using Photoshop but you can use any other uh, program that allows you to make selections and layers and masks and has filters such as blur. So the first thing I do when I start working on the image is I'm going to make a copy of the background. So I'm going to duplicate the background and I'm going to call this the mask because this is going to have the mask on it and I'm going to rename this background layer and I'm going to call this blur because this is going to have a blur on it. And so I have my mask and my blur. So right now we're going to go back to the mask level. And we're going to start creating the mask. To do that, I'm going to use the selection tool. I'm going to choose quick selection. And I'm just going to start selecting the ball player. Um, and I'm going to start selecting him like so. And you want to get as close as you can on the edges. And of course, if you, I can blow it up and get close in there. And as you can see, you can either remove, use the minus tool to subtract from the that selection, like so. Make sure you get it all out and go back to your plus. Or if you use the Alt key on your keyboard, it will switch between plus and minus, depending on which one you're on. And so I used to like to use that, keep it on plus, and bring him in and get as close to the edge of the player as possible. And I'm just gonna, and then you don't have to be very neat. It, the tool works real well. Um, if it's an image like this, where it's a really sharp line, uh, it does a really good job of picking up that edge. You just gotta give it a little bit of help sometimes, like over here. I'll have to, because the colors are similar, I have to go back in and really trim it tight like so. Let's, yeah. Um, <coughs> then we'll come down, we'll get his arm. And of course, it's going to uh, get his arm there. And I'm going to have to go back in and take out the background here around the glove like so. And then let it work its way through. And then. Um, we fix the edges carefully as I go along. Pick this up. Unfortunately, my Photoshop is running a little sluggish today because I've got the video capture program running in the background at the moment. Um, but it seems to be doing a pretty good job here. As you can see along the edge here, we'll have to pick up his fingers a little bit here and if we come up this way oops uh, come up here and we'll uh, fix the top of the mitt a little bit <clears throat> and then we'll fix the edge of the arm here and come up and get the arm here as well there you go, oh, don't need to be that big, there we go <clears throat> and we'll see if we can pick up his arm here as well Make sure we get his whole hand. Yep, that's good. And then we'll just trim it up. Hmm. It's pretty good, except we'll blow it up a little bit. And move him over a little bit. And we'll blow it up a little bit. And check the, the tips of his fingers. Check the tips of his fingers here. Whoops. Okay. That's pretty good. Mitt oh uh, here. Yeah, I've got a little problem on the mitt, so we'll fix that up a little bit too. Okay. Come down. And make sure we get all of his legs here. Back of his belt. Dirt spots on his pants. And as you see I lost the edge. And I can see that it took too much, so I'll have to come back in and trim it out. 
It's one of the problems sometimes if you're blown up too much, you tend to lose where you are and you have to go back and find the edge of your selection. But, oops, going the wrong way here. Okay, yep, <coughs> that looks good. Coming down by his legs. Yep, I want to get just his thing here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out on the edge here, just at the bottom here. And I want to get this out of here. Yeah, there we go. I want to try it. I'm going to make a small change. I want to get this part in here to blur, but I want to keep the edge. Um, I want to keep the edge here, not blurred along the edge of the base of the grass and the the, uh, the edge of the grass going into the. Uh, Um, as we go into the uh, baseline, and we'll add a little bit more, in here. and that'll work pretty good. <coughs> so we want a, this part to be blurred, but we don't want the rest down here to be blurred. And as we come along here, we're going to just do the whole thing here, just swing out, because we want to keep the bottom part um, <coughs> of the baseline and the grass on the bottom of the baseline not blurred. So we want to come out to the bottom here and get the whole um, edge here, see, right along here. Yeah, and then we'll pick up, we'll go all the way across and we'll pick up to about there. Yep, and now we can just pick up the other player easily here and uh, pick him up in here. Okay, get in there. And we'll fix the edge of that. <clears throat> and I'm not really that concerned about the edge of the grass and dirt line because that will we'll play around with that a little bit later once we actually have the mask. Right now we're just picking up the stuff that we want to use to um, create the mask. And so here we go. Come along the edge here. Pick up it. Yeah, that looks good. Get fix that a little bit. The real trick about any kind of photo editing at this level is to make sure <coughs> it looks uh, natural. Any sharp lines, anything that's perfectly square or perfectly rounded, just does not look natural. It doesn't appear that way in nature. And what will ha end up happening is it'll catch the eye, and then subconsciously or even consciously, the viewer will say, That is so fake because it just doesn't look right. They don't know why. A lot of times they can't tell you why, but they just get a feeling. And, and most of the time their gut feelings are correct. All right, so we're almost done now. We're finishing up around the edge here of his glove, and we want even a tab on his batting glove here. That looks good. Yeah, real good. Okay, now we'll bring it in down here looks really good and then we'll swing back up here and the one last thing we need to do is just get the baseball uh, we'll blow up the baseball a little bit so we can actually see the baseball make sure it actually is kind of rounded uh, I think that looks pretty good okay now we have that what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it back so I can see the whole thing make sure I've got pretty much everything I want I'm going to go to selection and I'm going to uh, modify and I'm just going to smooth it out a little bit by two pixels uh, maybe this time I'll make it three pixels we'll use three pixels and we'll smooth out the edges so it makes it less choppy and it looks more like it, it'll flow naturally then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to layer and we'll go to mask and we're going to uh, reveal the selection Okay, and what reveal the selection does it basically hides everything if you look down here you can see that everything is dark and if you hit the forward slash on the keyboard it'll show you <coughs> everything that is going to be hidden so everything is now hidden and the only thing that will show through <coughs> is going to be the ball players and the baseline and the inner field and the baseball and if you go to the first 
layer that we had was blur. That's the blur layer. If we take that off, now you can see what we've got. And that's pretty much what we want because what we're going to do now is we are going to blur the bottom layer. If we take the top layer off, you won't notice anything. If we take the both, both off, you don't have a picture. And if we add the mask layer, you can only see the, the players. So now we're going to remove the mask layer and we're going to just do the blur layer and we're going to go to uh, to filter oops, sorry filter and I like to use the Gaussian uh, we go to blur and I like to use the Gaussian blur that just seems to work the best for me and there you go I mean it's up at 66 you can blur it as much as you want um, we can bring it down a little bit to uh, you know 37 ish but I'm going to choose probably about six, uh, 60 50 to, yeah 50 is a little too little about 60 then we'll click OK and now that's the whole layer. Now the magic happens. When you add the other layer back in, <coughs> voila, we have the players that were not blurred and the part that wasn't masked shows through. And again, if you take off the blur layer, you can see just that, but everything that's behind it is blurred, and there you go. <coughs> now the only problem with this is it doesn't really look natural. You have this kind of line right across the edge of the uh, field. And what we do then is we go back up to the mask layer. You click on the mask layer and then you actually click on the mask itself. So the mask is highlighted over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to edit it. And we're going to go to the paintbrush. And I got a nice, make a little bit, I want to make a blur, um, kind of blurry brush and make it a kind of bigger brush as big as you want to go and then we are going to go to the opacity and we're going to change the opacity from a hundred percent we're going to bring it down to about uh, 80 we're going to bring it down to about 85 or so percent and we're going to just start painting through here and when we paint we're going to start to see the thing on blur okay? and we're going to just paint through an edge here and we're going to give some of the edge to the grass a little bit less blur. Okay. And we're going to paint a little bit there to make it look a little natural. And then we want to graduate. Now if you go to the red, go back forward slash again rather, you can see how we're putting that in there. And if I get too much, we can, um, you know, you can see how we're doing it. And then, you know, we can actually make the opacity a little bit less. And come on here and just start doing this. So it slowly, gradually, the blur slowly, gradually moves itself up the field. And then you hit the forward slash again. You can take it off and you can play with it. And just keep going up the field however much you want. It's up to you where you think that uh, the blur line looks good. You know, and then we can take it down a little bit more to the last opacity to like 40%, maybe 45%. Then we'll do a little bit more and just keep slowly encroaching that line up the field. So the blur actually will run its course up the field. And so it slowly goes from in focus up the field to, and then of course up here it doesn't look very good. So I gotta, you know, whoops, undo that. I don't like the way that works. There we go. And I don't really like it in here. So I'm using a graphics tablet that is uh, pressure sensitive. And so I can, I gotta be very careful. Because I end up with these lines up here. And if I don't like them, I can take them out, go back a few strokes until I find a place where I kind of did like it. Um, maybe make this a little bit higher and then come up front. Well, see, if, if you do I make a mistake, you can just go back and fix it. But that's pretty much all there is to it. And so <clears throat> that's what we did. We went from a no blur to complete blur. And then it's up to you where you want to you know, edit out the blur like so in there with where the background blurs and it doesn't. It's really all up to you, but that's how we do it.